bottle of white, a bottle of red, perhaps a bottle of rosé instead. They say, in vino veritas, to that I say, let's raise a glass. Welcome back to Got Knowledge, where you'll not only brush up on your blind tasting skills, but also enhance the enjoyment of your next glass of wine. My name is Denise, your virtual partner in wine. As so many before and certainly after me, the line of work that the typical expat is naturally going to fall into is teaching one's own language to foreigners. And I was no exception. There was a lesson in which I compared two types of questions. One elicited a one-word answer and the other a description. For instance, if I were to ask you, what kind of wine is this? You might say red, perhaps full body, or even from Argentina. The one-word answer which you associate the wine with is totally up to you. However, if I should ask you, what is this wine like? I'm no longer looking for a one-word answer. I'm looking for a description, one that will paint a mental picture of that wine, such as, it's a yummy red 2007 from Argentina. Okay, what's my point? Just consider your taste buds to be the proverbial counterpart to the question, what kind of wine is it? The answer you're going to get will be limited to four possibilities, or a combination of sweet, sour, bitter, or tart, giving you a rather sketchy picture. However, by combining the sensual support of the nose, mouth, and that ultra-sensitive mechanism that deals with flavor, otherwise known as the olfactory center, to determine the wine's character is equivalent to asking your senses, what is the wine like? And that's essentially what the coming sessions will be all about, adding dimension to our tasting awareness and our wine vocabulary running the gamut from sweet, sour, to full-bodied, medium-dry, all the way to an evocative list of words such as toasty, spicy, woody. They say, a picture is worth a thousand words, but when it comes to wine, a word is worth a thousand pictures. Before closing, let's make a wine resolution to develop our senses as we continue on the road to becoming better appreciators of wine. Starting today, let's sniff everything from our morning wake-up brew to the gasoline we put into our tanks. However, if you think that this type of behavior could have a negative impact on the number of dinner invitations you may or may not be receiving in the future uh, because your neighbor caught you sniffing Fido's dinner, you might want to consider purchasing a wine aroma kit. It comes in a variety of shapes, sizes, and price categories. Oh, I almost forgot. Do you know the difference between aroma and bouquet? Aroma is the simple smell of a young wine. But as wine ages, develops, and becomes more complex, what your nose is then picking up is the wine's bouquet. That concludes tonight's session. Thank you for joining me, and remember, got knowledge, pass it on. A bottle of red, a bottle of white, it all depends upon your appetite. I'm here next week, so do drop by. Arrivederci, ciao, goodbye.